CBC News, Abuja. And just about 10 months after the last general election, conversations have already started on the need for another round of amendments to the 2022 Electoral Act, which will further enhance the electoral process and ensure a seamless political transition. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports that the House of Representatives is already considering legislating on the process. The reports. The 2022 Electoral Act signed into law just about a year before the last general election further improved the nation's electoral process. Many agreed brought about landmark innovations to the regulation of the federal, state and area council elections in the country. But the aftermath of the 2023 general election has kick-started another conversation around a likely amendment, particularly before the next general polls. Adebayo Balogun is the Chairman House Committee on Electoral Matters. He says it is important to conclude all petitions surrounding elections within 90 days. Because actually, uh, cancel some elections, some are to be retaken, and some are actually given to uh, the other candidates. So, but these are not actually the makings of the court. One of the issues we want to address uh, in the amendment is to ensure that all tribunal cases actually concluded before, before the swearing in. Ezen Wanwagu is the chief executive partners for electoral reform and board member Yaga Africa. In a telephone interview, he disagrees with those clamoring for another round of amendment to the Electoral Act. There is a growing tendency for every legislative uh, period to embark in reforms. But we have to look at what we have reformed in the past and see how much we have, what lessons we have learned. Some stakeholders involved in improving the electoral process believe there should be a change in the mode of appointment of INEC chairman and other officers of the commission. As the name stands, Independent Nas National Electoral Commission, INEC, I think this commission has to be independent in all ramifications. They should be able to appoint and do whatever they, they, are, they, are, they are supposed to do without the influence of anybody or the president. Situation whereby people will go out, maybe stay on the sun, try the whole day, maybe on the rain, try the whole day, at the end of the day your vote will not be counted. So what's the need of going out there to go and vote? The National Assembly says it is collating imputes from the generality of Nigerians across the six geopolitical zones and assures that between the third quarter and the end of the year, Nigerians will have a new electoral act that they desire ahead of the 2027 general election. Joke Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.